Anyone in Ward County, Renville County on westward, you remain under a winter storm warning until Friday morning east of Ward County winter storm watches. For the time being, the worst weather appears to be once again across north central North Dakota. But for tonight, we're good. However, during the early morning hours, we'll start to see more of a transition over to snow in north central North Dakota, and that will make way for a uh, moderate uh, travel impacts. Wednesday throughout the day, we will be dealing with off and on wet snow coming down. That will be wave number one. Wave number two comes in on Thursday and gives us another round of heavy wet snow and that will continue to add up. But by Friday, the system exits the region and we start to dry up, but it is going to be cold. You'll notice still a good potential of a foot or more of snow anywhere in north central North Dakota, whether it's the Turtle Mountains, Minot, Stanley, even into Williston and eastern Montana. So that's going to be making way for some hectic travel conditions. The eight inch likelihood practically 100% all along the Turtle Mountains from Minot into Rugby Highway 2 from us all the way to Williston and then there's still also that likelihood a pretty good chance of um, a foot or more of snow across the northern third of North Dakota. So remember this is going to be adding up not just from Wednesday snow but Thursday snow as well. So now is the time to prepare if you haven't done so already. Minot, um, anywhere from 8 to 14 inches, even Botno in the Turtle Mountain region and surrounding areas, 7 to 13 inches. Now, these numbers are going to change as the storm continues to evolve, but you realize that this is a serious situation with the heavy wet snow accumulation. We've got a little bit of wintry mix from Mohol into the Turtle Mountains, Botno, as well as the um, Lake Metagoshi. Just a light misty rain across Minot, lowering our visibility. There's wave number one across um, Montana, just near Circle. Also, some of that snow trying to make its way into Sydney, and it'll make its way into Williston before you know it. And this is going to be what's going to give us that round of snow late tonight as well as tomorrow. So here comes the snow. Tomorrow morning could be waking up either to a mix or likely by then all snow across the region. That's going to continue practically all day long. May get a brief break from some of the activity portions of Wednesday night, but the snow quickly returns with that second wave for Thursday and continues all throughout the day, not just for us, but across the south as well. So widespread accumulated snow is likely before it finally pushes out of here by Friday morning. So just keep in mind, we will have a little bit of melting because the ground is still a bit warm, but with those temperatures continuing to fall, that snow is going to stick around for a few days. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, we are going to have morning lows in the upper 20s, low 30s, and practically right near 30 degrees for our high tomorrow. And that's why we're going to have that decent chance of snow. So weather-wise, moisture-wise, looking better by Friday in the weekend. Just keep in mind, it's going to be cold with 20s for our highs, single digits, and teens for lows.